Hello, uh, this is Lee, the acupuncturist uh, and herbalist, and this is Bob, why not? We had a previous video about uh, uh, his right shoulder, and that's before his surgery. Um, and the purpose we do that video is we want to see comparing before surgery and after surgery and how acupuncture can help him recover from the surgery faster. So we did a bunch of treatment uh, before his surgery. When your surgery was? It was February 11th. And prior to that, uh, I had seen my surgeon and uh, at that appointment, I had quite a bit of swelling and I had pain because I did totally separate my rotator cuff and I had additional pain from a buildup of arthritis around the bone area. And that's when Lee had helped me with uh, acupuncture and some dietary changes to see if she couldn't reduce the, the pain and the swelling prior to surgery. And when I met with the doctor uh, a few days before the surgeon, uh, he was very impressed. At that time, I had very little pain, probably what I would categorize as no pain, and as long as I didn't put my arm in different positions. And uh, the swelling had gone down, so I think Lee was able to prepare me and get my arm in a good uh, surgical condition. Um, and also, uh, usually, you are under general anesthesia, right? When you had the surgery. I, so, was, un I was under general anesthesia, uh -huh. and they also had performed a, uh, a nerve block. So that when I came out of surgery, they had blocked the appropriate nerve in that area to uh, cut down the amount of pain that I was feeling and also allowed them to have to administer less antibiotics, and, well they did the antibiotics, but less um, uh, pain, pain killers, yeah. right? So usually uh, under general anesthesia, the immune function is compromised. So after surgery, some people can develop like infection or pneumonia. Um, but the purpose we did a bunch of treatment before a surgery is we try to reduce the inflammation in the shoulder so that once um, she has the artificial part inserted into the uh, shoulder joint, then the muscle can uh, function better and recover better. And the second purpose is we try to strengthen the immune function so uh, Bob can re won't have the infection um, after the surgery. And um, you, how many weeks uh, this after the surgery? You yeah, right now I'm six weeks after surgery. And uh, if I make a quick comment on the hospital, the surgeon was excellent. I couldn't have made a better choice. Uh, he was great. And the actual surgery he had uh, performed is a reverse shoulder replacement. So where I had a large amount of arthritis from my occupation, by putting the cup where the ball is, it allows them to remove a lot of the arthritis in the bone because they're going to put the cup and down that bone and then where the cup normally would be they put the ball so it's a reverse procedure and one that was more suited for me because i had a rotator cuff tear and i had a large amount of arthritis so even right now which is only six weeks after surgery i have very little pain at all I may take occasional Tylenol, and uh, my movement is increasing uh, without pain, and uh, I'm, you know, very pleased with how everything is uh, progressing right now. And now we are continuing to do the acupuncture because um, there's a muscle 
uh, around the joint and uh, those muscles kind of tight so we need to stretch out those muscles and by doing the acupuncture we relax those muscles and helping the circulation here because there is artificial part in the joint and there is a part inserted into the bone right yeah so whenever you have a foreign material in your body the circulation will not be the best and then it's easy to develop inflammation so our purpose is improve the whole circulation to prevent inflammation and the muscle can uh, so Bob will start you already started PT right yes uh, yeah right so by doing PT and Bob will strengthen those muscles and you don't need a rotator cuff right you, you don't have right. the, this type of surgery uh, bypasses a rotator cuff and there's no reason to repair it so I have I have no fear of tearing it in the future which if the procedure was done in a different way where they had to put the rotator cuff in the future I might risk having it torn again but the other muscles will compensate right to right now mm -hmm. the goal is uh, strengthen the muscle mm -hmm. and also uh, Re, uh, recover the motion range. Do you think you can resume all the motion range, or there is a limit that you? He, uh, the surgeon, uh, says that I'm going to be able to um, re recover all of the range of motion that I had prior to this. There may be a very slight amount of strain continued to get this arm up possibly in this position for what reason i don't know but uh, or why i would have to get it up that high so uh, he tells me that i can return to golf i can do swimming uh, just generally using my right arm which it has been restrained up to this point with a sling so you know lee has gotten me very recently after being able to move my right arm at all and uh, he said just you know reaching for a book or drinking a glass of milk or any motion I make with my right arm will bring those muscles back into good shape so as well as the PT that he's given me which is mostly stretching motions that my shoulder has not been in uh, in quite a while, actually. I was probably not able to do that for a few months before the surgery because of the rotator cuff tear. So in order to protect the muscles and you know, try not to uh, hold on one position for too long, that will make muscles stiff and uh, uh, moving slowly. And with acupuncture treatment, the muscle will not be tight so he can do more PT and increase the motion range, strengthen those muscles. And the other thing uh, is very important is that now the inflammation in the joint is gone because uh, the majority of the part of the, the joint were removed. But then you still need to keep muscle and ligaments in, in a very good condition. So eating the right food, you know, less processed food and less processed sugar and low sugar, low salt, and uh, low spicy food will all uh, help to reduce the inflammation. So to keep this artificial joint function as well as we're expecting, right? Yes. Yeah, th this would be advice that actually uh, my surgeon would, would not be involved with. So with Lee helping me in these areas, you know, I can reduce the swelling quicker and uh, be able to get my range of motion back with less pain. So if uh, you want to get a surgery and get the best result, and maybe you should consult or go to your, your acupuncturist and get a couple of treatment because you invest time and money to do the surgery and uh, we should get the best result, the best recovery. Uh, I'm certainly pleased with how mine came out. I mean, I've talked to other people that have had similar surgeries and they tell me how much pain I must be in and I'm, I'm not. But obviously you can tell that they did the surgery. Yeah, yeah the I mean, scar healed very well. Yeah, I'm, I'm healing very yeah. well. 
there is no redness, no swelling, and so. I'm the poster child for reversal replacement.